Hi again, we're back, and uh, we're continuing with the uh, 300 level, the connection partnership uh, lead follow, uh, enjoyable uh, leading and following. So now we're going to do a sugar push, okay? So here's your test question. Okay, how does she know to go forward on the sugar push? Right, you go back. Exactly, okay? Again, try and take all the lead from our center. She's doing two things, okay? She's extending her elbows a little bit, you can't see it, and she's pushing off the floor a little bit, okay? And we go one, two, exactly. So now we are light and delightful, okay? And you can do that, so then we come here, what do we do? One, two, all of a sudden I stop, okay? So now here's where the biggest mistake comes, okay? The most tension that I get in, in dancers is they come here, they freeze these arms, and then I have to push their whole body backwards. Yeah, and knock them off, just like Lisa <laughs> exaggerated, knock them off balance, and it stops you dancing for a couple seconds right there, okay? Stiffness stops the dancing. So what happens here is I just go, she comes with me, and I stop. Now, to be natural, you shouldn't stop with your arms frozen. As a matter of fact, that's not rhythmic to the music, okay? Because you stop too soon, you're actually ahead of the music going backwards, okay? Now, this is hard to understand, but we do not want to be ahead of the music. We don't even want to be on time to the music. We want to be behind the music is your best expression. Now, to do that, when I stop, she doesn't. Because if you remember, who starts going back first? I go, then she goes, okay? I start falling, let's get back to what we did last time. I start falling, she goes, then I can step. Remember that idea, leaders? Okay, we'll try and exaggerate. I fall, she goes, I step. See that? So I get her going first, boom, then I just go with her, okay? The big mistake is the guys just yank on her, okay? Or, or sometimes they do this, they leave their hand there and they just go back by themselves. Don't do that either. Don't go back and just leave your hand there because she doesn't know, see? She doesn't know what, what's going on, okay? You can go all over the place. But as soon as you can't get your hand to your body, you fall, she falls, you're allowed to step, okay? Be courteous. So when we do that, I take her, and when I stop my arms, her body should keep coming through, okay? So we go, one, two, boom, see that? Okay, so I stopped her arms, okay? But it's too much work, it's too fast, too stiff. If she stops automatically and going, that's too frantic. She should have at least a count of music to figure out what you're doing. That's enjoyable. We can't expect her, us to lead and her to respond at the exact same time. Okay, that, that's physically impossible and it's too much work. Then she has to dance all frantic and she's all tight and you know, trying, to, trying to, to respond right away. Dancing wasn't supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be relaxing. So when I go, I stop her, she, her body keeps coming. Okay, that's natural. So one, two, she goes through. That means her elbows are gonna go behind her. Okay, now, Boom. Now this creates an elasticity for good connection. Whenever you connect, you should have an elasticity. Now what that means is, one, two, when she came through with those elbows, okay, this pec and that pec opened up, okay? Everybody, do this. Okay, let's turn this way and do it. Okay, put elbows back, forward, back, forward, back, hold it. That's it, put them back a little bit more, Lisa, right here. So right from her center to her shoulder, on both shoulders, that pec is your elasticity. Whenever you connect with a partner, okay, you have to be elastic. Too many people are stiff, what do we do? Knock each other off balance, knock each other off time, okay? So we come in, those open up, and it feels good. It's like taking a, a stretch in the morning. When you wake up and you stretch, it feels the same way, exact same way. And one, two, she comes through, she feels that great elasticity. Now I'm allowed to connect to her, okay? So now, now I'm doing the same thing, you don't see it as much, okay? But I'm doing the same thing. My elasticity is working also, so when I come forward, I'm not pushing on her, I'm actually letting my elasticity work too. So we come in, one, two, she goes through, exactly, okay? Then she goes back, triple step. One, two, she comes through, she goes back, triple step. One, two, she comes through, okay? Now, leaders, when I push, I do not push with my hands. Again, knocking her off over knocking her over. I push from the floor. I leave my hands here and I push from the floor and that's enjoyable movement, always coming from the body. So right here, I pulled my body when she came in. Now, right as we're here, I can push as hard as I want with my foot, boom, and it does not knock her off balance, okay? One, two, but I did not push with my hands. That's the big mistake, okay? Now, here we go again. One, two, I push with my right foot, boom. Now. I shouldn't feel too much from her because she does not have to push off of the partner to go backwards. That's a big mistake. She has 
three energies making her go backwards. First of all, when she comes in, one, two, and try this when you're home. If you stretch these elbows back a whole lot, they will pull you. Okay, so when you come in, Lisa's going to do it by herself. One, two, stretch them back and make them go. Lisa's going to do it by herself. <laughs> One, two, stretch them back, pull. Those elbows will pull you back, which is what they're supposed to do. Everything stops from up here. That's another big problem with teaching by the pattern method, the footstep method. Okay? We think feet first, and that is backwards. It always comes from the top first. The feet are always last. And normally it comes from the elbows or shoulders. Okay? So that's one energy. Okay? Can you figure out what the second energy is? We'll give you a few seconds. Okay, that's enough. Here we go. Second energy is when she reaches this leg back. Okay, would you pick it up off the ground, Lisa, please? Back, now reach it back. Right. There is a pull in her hamstring right here against her torso. Okay? So when you reach back with that leg, there's another energy. Your hamstring is pulling against your seat and it's pulling you backwards. Do not let your leg go back and go with your hip. Okay, you just dissipated all your energy. You stretch back there quite strongly if you want to get a lot of exciting dancing. We want exciting dancers, okay? We want action in our dancing. We don't want boring dancing. Dancing is very exciting, especially swing dancing. That's another energy, so she's going to exaggerate. One, two, she stretches it. Boom, that's it. And it pulls her back. One, two, stretch it. Boom, then she uses both of them. She stretch, puts her elbows back, stretches her leg. Look at all that, Look at all that action, okay? That's fun. That fills up the music. You have depth to your dancing. You're not a shallow dancer, OK? OK, we'll give you another chance. What's the third energy making her go backwards? OK, that was enough time. Here we go. <laughs> she pushes off the floor, OK? One, two, boom, OK? She pushes off her left foot, pushes her back, and goes, OK? So at the same time, one, two, that he starts pushing off of his right foot to push into her. Once she feels that, she does the same thing. She pushes off her foot and she goes back, okay? So how many energy? We have like four energies going in the same direction. That is really exciting, a lot of fun. She has her elbows pulling her back, her hamstring pulling her back, her, her push pulling her back, and I'm pushing and going with her and giving a little connection there. So that's enjoyable connection, okay? Not a negative energy of pulling or pushing each other, but of our energies going the same direction. You notice all of our energies were going there. One, two, I push, she reached, she, boom, and she reached her elbows back. So now, boom, I can plow into her as strong as I want to. I will not knock her off balance because our energies are going the same direction and she's absorbing it in her uh, elasticities right here. Okay? So you can have a lot of excitement with that. One, two, we push, I plow into her. Do not throw her off balance. Boom. Ba, dun, dun, dun. Very exciting dancing. And then what stops her? I stop. She's coming in. She has all this energy. Boom. I stop right here. I don't let my hand go. As soon as my hand stops, I don't stop her. Her arm then goes forward with my hand. Her arm stops her. OK? So followers, we hope well, what you got from that is um, uh, that you lead yourself. OK? You lead your body. He only leads either your elbow or your shoulder. That's it. That's as far as he goes, then everything you. And, and if he doesn't know that, if you want to save yourself, do that. Okay? If you don't want to get injuries in your arms, do a little bit of this, sneak it in so you don't hurt yourself. Okay? And uh, you'll be a lot better off. Okay, again, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for being with us. Bye bye.